So, a couple of months ago, I published this best cybersecurity rules and specialization. If you haven't watched it yet, kindly click the link below. I discussed various cybersecurity roles with their description, but really didn't talk about much of the tools, platforms, and certifications per specialization. So, in this video, I will list the top certifications for the first rank best cybersecurity role. And this is security engineer and security architect. I will talk about three levels, the junior or associate, professional or intermediate, and the advanced or expert level. Consider this as the upgrade of my 2023 and 2024 best vendor security certification video. Take note, all of these certifications that I will mention are focused on vendor security solutions. You may find me a little biased. Well, this is my video, so deal with it. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video, Dean, from South Sudan, Uzbekistan, Hungary. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. For, like from Surabaya, Bogota, Ankara, etc. First, the associate or junior level. If we are specific to vendor security associate level certifications, I can only mention two. First is Fortinet Certified Associate in Cybersecurity. And the second is PCNSA or Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Associate. Some of you would say, how about CCNA? Well, if you're going to compare CCNA to these two certifications, CCNA doesn't focus on secure solutions. Core technologies in CCNA are routing and switching. I say this again and again, CCNA is one of the best, if not the best certification if you're starting your IT certification journey. This goes also to F5CA or F5 Certified Administrator in Big Up IP. Not intended for security, but take note, ALB or Application Load Balancer with WAF Web Application Firewall is a specific security solution. So just to summarize the certifications under this level, so we have two security certifications. Uh, we have Fortinet Certified Associate in Cybersecurity and PCNSA. CCNA and F5CA Big IP are network focused knowledge and certifications, but a requirement for you to move to security engineering career. Next, professional or intermediate level. This is just an upgrade of our associate level certifications, but focus heavily on various security solutions. I'm not really a big fan of Fortinet certifications. So if you are not required to acquire Fortinet certs, don't bother. In any case, we have FCP or Fortinet Certified Professional in Cybersecurity. So let's see. Uh, we'll move Fortinet on the fourth spot. Now let's just upgrade our CCNA to CCNP security. This is the obvious choice as this is the most popular and the most recognized vendor security certification. CCNP security covers various security solutions from next generation firewall to next generation IPS, from uh, VPN to email security, DNS security, NAC, IM, and many more. And if you're not a fan of Cisco, especially Cisco security solutions, combination of Palo Alto networks and F5 certifications would be great as well. So for Palo Alto Networks, we have PCNSE or Palo Alto Network Certified Network Security Engineer. For F5, we have three F5 CTS. CTS stands for Certified Technology Specialist. So F5 CTS in LTM, ASM, and APM. If I'm going to summarize the technologies covered for these two vendors, it would be a mix of Next Generation Firewall, WAF, Malware Analysis, VPN, Threat Intelligence, DNS Security, SOAR, URL Filtering, IM, etc. This level alone is enough for you to be a security engineer. And with the right amount of experience and skills, you can be a security architect. For the expert level, let's just upgrade our CCNP security to CCIE security. Our PCNSE will upgrade to PCNSC or Palo Alto Networks Certified Security Consultant. And for F5, we have F5 CSE or F5 Certified Solutions Expert in Security. 
for Fortinet. Again, not a big fan, but it would be FCX or Fortinet Certified Expert in Cybersecurity. All of these are an upgrade of our professional level certifications. CCI Security and F5CX Cybersecurity both are hands on lab exam. For F5CSE in security, it's a written multiple choice type. And PCNSE is a little different among the four, as it's a special invite to Palo Alto Networks partner. Yeah, VAR or SI partners. And you are required to attend live training prior taking the exam. I really wonder why anti-malware, malware and threat protection, EDR, XDR vendors, such as Trend Micro, Sentinel-1, CrowdStrike, etc., never really have a good and well-recognized certifications. Well, even Palo Alto Networks. Yes, there's a Palo Alto Networks related solution, and it isn't also doing well. This is PCDRA, or Palo Alto Networks Certified Detection and Remediation Analyst. It's a Palo Alto Networks certification focused on malware protection, XDR, and SOAR. Also, there is another company called Zscaler. I believe they're doing well in virus security domain, such as SASE or Secure Access Service Engine, ZTNA or Zero Trust Network Access, Advanced Threat Protection, Cloud Sandbox, etc. But their certifications are also not popular. They have this one popular search or a little popular search. This is ZCCP or certified or Zscaler certified cloud professional. It covers firewalls, VPNs, DLPs, malware protection, zero trust, IM, URL filtering, cloud security, and many more. 